step into a world where jukeboxes hummed with classic tunes, leather jackets were the epitome of cool, and life's challenges were often solved with a hearty laugh and a milkshake at Arnold's. Ah, the iconic 1974 TV series, Happy Days. Do you remember the first time you tuned in? Perhaps it was the infectious enthusiasm of the Fonz, the lovable antics of Richie and Potsy, or the unbreakable bonds formed at Al's drive-in that drew you in. As you recollect that initial encounter, the charm of those simpler times comes rushing back, along with the unforgettable moments that have etched themselves into your memory. Now, let's delve into the captivating realm of Happy Days, a show that transcended eras and carved its name into the annals of television history. Amidst the neon signs and checkerboard floors of Arnold's, intriguing facts about the show emerged that might surprise even the most devoted fans. From the show's humble beginnings to the unexpected cultural impact it had, the journey behind the scenes is as riveting as the on-screen escapades. So, grab a seat in your mental diner booth, order up a slice of nostalgia, and let's unravel the random facts that make Happy Days an eternal classic. Relive the magic of those golden moments, the characters who became our friends, and the laughter that echoed through the decades. It's a journey that takes us back, reminding us that no matter how much time passes, the fondest memories remain as vivid as ever. Happy Days, a classic TV series that aired from 1974 to 1984, originated as a one-episode segment on the anthology series Love, American Style. Set in the 1950s and early 1960s, the show revolves around the Cunningham family and their friends, capturing the nostalgia of post-World War II America. At the heart of the series is the iconic character Arthur Fonzi Fonzarelli, a cool and motorcycle-riding greaser who becomes a cultural symbol. The show's unique style stems from its blend of family-friendly humor, relatable coming-of-age themes, and a portrayal of the era's innocence. Happy Days navigates the lives, relationships, and adventures of the characters, led by Richie Cunningham, his friends Potsy and Ralph, and Fonzie. The series resonated with audiences, becoming a cultural touchstone that showcased the nostalgia of a bygone era while addressing contemporary issues. Impactful on popular culture, Happy Days coined phrases like jumping the shark after an episode where Fonzie literally jumped a shark on water skis, marking a turning point for the show. The series popularized 1950s nostalgia and led to spin-offs, merchandise, and even a brief resurgence in the popularity of jukeboxes. As a testament to its enduring appeal, Happy Days remains a beloved classic, influencing subsequent TV shows and films that explore similar themes of friendship, family, and the past's idyllic charm. The serious portrayal of simpler times and memorable characters continues to resonate with new generations, making it a timeless piece of television history. And now, let's dive into some intriguing tidbits about the show. Henry Winkler, who played Fonzie, was initially a minor character but quickly became a fan favorite. Ron Howard, who portrayed Richie Cunningham, went on to become an accomplished director. The character Joni Cunningham, Rich's younger sister, was played by Erin Morin. Happy Days introduced the world to the Fonz statue, erected in Milwaukee, Fonz's hometown. The show's catchphrases, like sit on it, and Ale, the came part of the cultural living cast member of Happy Days emerges, Marion Ross Marion Ross, renowned for her endearing portrayal of Mrs. Cunningham on the iconic 1974 TV series Happy Days, has now become the oldest living cast member following the passing of Al Molinero in 2015. With a career spanning decades, Ross continues to stand as a living testament to the show's enduring impact on American television culture. Her role as the beloved matriarch endeared her to audiences, cementing her status as a cultural icon. While the passing of Al Molinero marked a poignant moment in the show's history, Marion Ross remains a living connection to the golden days of happy days. Rock and roll resurgence, Rock Around the Clock returns to charts Happy Days wasn't just a hit on television screens. It had the remarkable power to resurrect a classic tune from the past. Bill Haley in the Comet's sensational track, Rock Around the Clock, had once dominated the airwaves in 1955, soaring to the pinnacle of the charts. However, when Happy Days hit the TV landscape in 1974, the show's nostalgia-laden portrayal of the 1950s prompted a resurgence of interest in the iconic song. 
Rock around the clock defied the passage of time, climbing back up the pop charts an astonishing 19 years after its original release. The catchy beat and timeless spirit of the song once again captured the hearts of listeners, proving that the magic of happy days extended beyond the screen. In the spotlight, Ron Howard's unconventional path to stardom the path to stardom is often marked by unexpected twists and turns. Such was the case for Ron Howard, whose rise to fame took an unconventional route thanks to his role in Happy Days, admitting that he left USC film school before completing his degree. Howard's decision was steered by the unique opportunity to be cast in the series. His portrayal of Richie Cunningham catapulted him into the limelight and forever altered his trajectory. The show's enduring popularity and Howard's charm became a defining chapter in television history, solidifying his place as an accomplished actor and later a prominent filmmaker. When Tom Hanks crossed paths with the Fonz, a forgotten chapter of Happy Days history in a surprising twist of 70 seconds television lore, the iconic 1974 TV series Happy Days saw the crossover of two Hollywood giants before they ascended to megastardom. Tom Hanks, known today as a versatile actor with numerous accolades, once graced the screen of this beloved show in a guest starring role that remains relatively obscure. Hanks made his mark on the show with a role that veered from his later wholesome image. In the episode titled A Little Case of Revenge, he portrayed an old rival of Fonzie, played by Henry Winkler. Unlike Hanks' future wholesome roles, here he embodied a character seeking vengeance and armed with martial arts skills. The storyline revolved around a decade-spanning rivalry between the two characters, culminating in a showdown of epic proportions. Ironically, this meeting of Hanks and Winkler laid the groundwork for a creative partnership that extended beyond the confines of happy days. Ron Howard, who portrayed Richie Cunningham on the show, would later find himself directing Tom Hanks in a series of successful films including Splash, Apollo 13, The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Inferno. As Gary Marshall, the show's creator, envisioned a character who was cut like Sylvester Stallone or Perry King for Fonzie's role, Henry Winkler defied those physical expectations. Despite not fitting the mold, Winkler's audition captured the essence of the character, sealing his fate as the iconic greaser. In an amusing twist of fate, Winkler himself channeled Stallone during his audition for Fonzie, successfully embodying the attitude that would become Fonzie's trademark. Delving deeper into the interpersonal dynamics, Fonzie's endearing nickname for Joni Cunningham, portrayed by Aaron Morin, was Shortcake. This small yet memorable detail highlights the nuances of relationships within the show, adding to its timeless charm. In retrospect, Happy Days continues to be a wellspring of intriguing anecdotes and behind-the-scenes tales that enrich our understanding of television history. The collision of talent that occurred on its set remains a testament to the unexpected connections that shaped the entertainment industry. Bronze statue of the fonts unveiled in Milwaukee, a Happy Days tribute Milwaukee, Wisconsin witnessed a nostalgic reunion on Tuesday, August 19, 2008. As a bronze statue of the beloved fonts from the iconic 1974 TV series Happy Days was unveiled along the Milwaukee River Riverwalk. The statue, gracing the south end of Rock Bottom Brewery's outdoor seating area, became a gathering point for stars and fans alike. The ceremony drew an ensemble of familiar faces, including actors Henry Winkler, Marion Ross, Tom Bosley, Aaron Morin, Don Most, Anson Williams, Penny Marshall, and Cindy Williams. Joining them were director, producer Gary Marshall, and producer Robert L. Boyant, evoking the show's charm that has etched itself into American culture. The event's itinerary was brimming with homage, starting with an autograph session where proceeds bolstered the boys and girls club literacy program. A standout performance by Joey Sorge, who portrayed the fonts in the Happy Days stage musical, added musical flair to the day's proceedings. The celebration culminated with a star-studded parade down Wisconsin Avenue, capturing the show's essence through the presence of its iconic cast. A crescendo followed at Brewer's Miller Park where the cast members partook in a ceremonial first pitch, injecting a touch of sport into the festivities. Anson Williams' resonating voice filled the air with the national anthem, an echo of patriotic fervor. 
As the bronze fonts now stands as a tribute to a television era etched in memory, this gathering rekindled the magic that once flickered on screens nationwide. A legacy of happy days continues to live on, not merely in reruns, but also in the hearts of those who graced both sides of the screen. Happy Days Unveiled, a tale beyond American graffiti contrary to popular belief. The iconic 1974 TV series Happy Days did not find its roots in George Lucas' American graffiti. Though many assume Lucas' film inspired the show, history reveals a different trajectory. The series actually sprang from a pilot that aired earlier than Lucas' endeavor, gaining momentum after Lucas' film hit the silver screen. The series' inception lies in a segment featured on Love, American Style. However, it wasn't until the triumph of American graffiti that producer Gary Marshall reevaluated his initially unsuccessful pilot. The film's triumph propelled Marshall to reimagine the show, capitalizing on the nostalgia it invoked. While Luca's coming-of-age portrayal of the 60 Seconds had undeniable influence, the timeline debunks the myth of direct inspiration. The pilot for Happy Days preceded American Graffitis production. The two works shared a cultural resonance, feeding off each other's nostalgia-rich depictions of a bygone era. Beyond this captivating origin story, another notable aspect of Happy Days resided in its portrayal of Fonzie, played by Henry Winkler. The character's stomping grounds, initially named Herb's Garage, underwent a transformation when Herb retired, leading to its new moniker, Broncos. As Happy Days etched its mark in television history, the intricate dance between its origins and cinematic contemporaries remains a testament to the nuanced interplay of pop culture's influences. The show's legacy thrives not just on the screen, but as a mirror reflecting the complex relationships between as we our wrap up this journey and down memory lane. I hope you find yourself amidst the warm glow of nostalgia, back in that simpler time when the world of happy days painted its colorful strokes on the canvas of your life. This beloved TV series wasn't just a show, it was a portal to an era that holds a special place in our collective hearts. As the credits rolled and the jukebox tunes faded, perhaps you found yourself dreaming of leather jackets, poodle skirts, and the camaraderie of Arnold's drive-in. Maybe it was the ever-cool fonts or the endearing Cunningham family that etched a permanent smile on your face. This show had the magical ability to transport us to a world where the moments were golden and the laughter was genuine. Your connection to Happy Days is uniquely yours. It's not just about the episodes you watched, but the memories they kindled and the emotions they stirred. Did you giggle at Potsy's antics, or did you secretly wish you could rock a leather jacket like Fonzie? Perhaps the show inspired family discussions or became a comfort on rainy afternoons. Whatever your personal connection, it's a testament to the show's enduring charm. Now, as we turn the last page on this chapter of reminiscence, I invite you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, and reflections on happy days. What character resonated with you the most? What life lessons did you carry forward from those 30 minutes of wholesome entertainment? Your stories are the fabric that weaves our collective appreciation for this iconic series. Thank you for allowing me to accompany you on this delightful journey into the world of happy days. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. So, whether you're humming along to the show's catchy theme song or cherishing the unforgettable catchphrases, remember that the spirit of happy days lives on through your memories. Warmly, your name.